Hello, good day. Once more, this is Choni from Sopnanga Let Us Dream Together. It will be a great help for me if you can subscribe and enable the bell button for getting notification about my video. If you find this video useful for you, please like and share this video and provide your valuable comments in the comment section below. In April 2018, a NGO named B612 Foundation dedicated to planetary science and planetary defense against asteroids and other near-Earth object impacts. They reported, It is 100% certain we will be hit, but we are not 100% sure when. Let us get on with our topic. Asteroids and asteroid belt. We are all familiar with asteroids. It plays several potential roles in science fiction movies and stories. The UN declared the 30th of June as International Asteroid Day to educate the public about asteroids. According to NASA, asteroids are small, rocky objects, much smaller than planets. They orbit the Sun like all the other planets in our solar system. The majority of these small rocky objects thriving in our solar system is located in the main asteroid belt, the region between Mars and the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. These celestial bodies are the remains from the formation of our solar system. In that time when the solar system began to form 4.6 billion years ago, the objects in the asteroid belt never had the chance to become part of a planet. All the asteroids are not the same because the asteroids formed in different locations at different distances from the Sun. Here are a few ways that they can differ. Asteroids aren't all round like a ball. They're jagged and irregular shapes. They could be hundreds of miles in diameter but also could be as small as pebbles. Many asteroids are made of different kinds of rock and material. These pieces of rock can contain a lot of valuable information about the history of planets and the sun because they formed at the same time as other objects in the solar system did. There is an estimated 995,000 413 asteroids in our solar system. They range in size about 530 kilometers in diameter to bodies that are less than 10 meters across. If we had to put together all the asteroids combined, the mass will be less than that of Earth's own moon. Most of these ancient space rubble is irregularly shaped though a few are nearly spherical and they often pitted or cratered. As they revolve around the Sun in elliptical orbits, the asteroids also rotate, sometimes quite erratically, tumbling as they go. More than 150 asteroids are known to have companion moons. They are also binary asteroids in which two rocky bodies roughly equal size orbit each other as well as triple asteroid systems. There are three classes of asteroids based on what they are made of. The three classes are C, S and M types. The C type asteroids or chondrite asteroids are the most common ones forming around 75% of known asteroids. They probably consist of clay and silicate rock and are dark in appearance. They have very low albedo due to the large amount of carbon in addition with other minerals in its composition. They are normally found in the outer edges of the asteroid belt which is an estimated 
3.5 astronomical units away from the Sun. They are among the most ancient objects in the solar system. The S-type asteroids or stony or silicate asteroids are made up of silicate materials and nickel iron. Approximately 17% of asteroids are of this type, making it the second most common after the C-type asteroids. The M-type asteroids are metallic asteroids. We still don't know all about these asteroids, but they are moderately bright, but not all. It is made up of nickel iron, either pure or mixed with small amounts of stone. These are thought to be pieces of metallic core of differentiated asteroids that were fragmented by impact. Jupiter's massive gravity and close encounters with Mars or another object can change the asteroid's orbit, which means it can knock them out of the asteroid belt and make them go flying through space in all directions across the orbits of other planets. Stray asteroids or asteroid impacts slammed into Earth and other planets in the past, playing a major role in alerting the geological history of planets and the evolution of life on Earth. Our scientists are continuously monitoring Earth's crossing asteroids, whose paths intersect Earth's orbit and near Earth asteroids that approach Earth's orbital distance to within about 45 million kilometers and may pose an impact danger. The majority of known asteroids orbit within the asteroid belt, generally with not very elongated orbit. The belt is estimated to contain between 1.1 and 1.9 million asteroids, larger than one kilometer in diameter, and millions of smaller ones. Early in the history of the solar system, the gravity of newly formed Jupiter brought an end to the formation of planetary bodies in this region and caused the small bodies to collide with one another, fragmenting them into asteroids we observe today. Some asteroids share the same orbit with other planets and they are called Trojan asteroids. They do not collide because they gather around in two special places in the orbit. There, the gravitational pull of the Sun and the planet are balanced by a Trojan's tendency to otherwise fly out of the orbit. Jupiter, Neptune and Mars have Trojan asteroids. We also have them with our Earth. Yes, NASA announced the discovery of an Earth Trojan in 2011. Some objects have orbits that close by that, that of Earth and they are known as near-Earth asteroids. Some asteroids actually cross the Earth's orbital path and they are known as Earth crosses. As of June 19, 2013, 10,003 near-Earth asteroids are known and the number over one kilometer in diameter is thought to be 861, with 1,409 classified as potentially hazard asteroids, those that could possess a threat to Earth. Asteroids became darker and redder due to space weathering. However, evidence suggests most of the color change occurs rapidly. These are the space missions that gave us valuable information about the asteroids. NASA's Galileo mission was the first spacecraft to fly past an asteroid. It flew past asteroid Gaspar in 1991 and Ida in 1993. NASA's near-Earth asteroid Randover's mission studied asteroids Methyl and Eros and the Rosetta mission encountered Stian in 2008 and Lotitia in 2010. Deep Space One and Stardust 
both had close encounters with asteroids. In 2005, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa landed on the near-Earth asteroid Itokawa and attempt to collect samples. On June 3, 2010, Hayabusa successfully returned to Earth. A small amount of asteroid dust is now being studied by scientists. NASA's Dawn spacecraft, launched in 2007, orbited and explored asteroid Vesta for over a year. Two robotic spacecraft are currently exploring asteroids up close. NASA's Oris Rex is in orbit at asteroid Bennu and Japan's Hayabusa 2 is preparing to collect samples from asteroid Ruduk. Meanwhile, NASA's NEOWISE spacecraft orbiting Earth continues to improve on the most accurate survey of near-Earth objects every undertaken. The Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based radar observatories also contribute regularly to our understanding of asteroids. Several more missions, including NASA's Psyche and Lucy missions, are in development to keep exploring these small worlds. Thanks for watching my video. Please stay tuned to my channel. Bye-bye.